Hey guys, Skip here and today I'm gonna show you how to make your own train station directly in the game. You don't need to know any type of software to create your own buildings or to do anything like that. No, 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 you can do them directly in the game and it's easy. And for that you just need few important mods. First is the moving mod because after you place down lots of things you can move them very easily. Then I recommend to take the procedural object mod and that is because this will allow you to modify buildings, modify props or assets, make them smaller, make them bigger or whatever. Then you need the railway replacer mod because this one is the one that will give you the station tracks. This is very 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 important. And then of course you will need to find all type of props, assets and so on uh, exactly as you want to like fences, uh, platforms, uh, uh, benches uh, or whatever you want to add on your train station uh, but for that of course it's up to you and you have to you have the free will let's say uh, just look uh, on the entire workshop but I, I do highly recommend you to use my uh, collection of collections because that one is very easy to use you can just use the Control F button to search for whatever type of assets you are looking for and yeah go from there let me show you an example of train station made directly in the game. These two stations that you can see here, they are both functioning and one is on the ground level with platforms and the train tracks at ground level and the other one from the left side, it's elevated. So you can do whatever. But today I'm gonna show you how to make a very small and easy uh, train station on the ground level. First, let me show you the usage of those train tracks that you subscribe to. You need to find the station tracks. It is very easy to find them because they have a small description on their icon when you go to look for, of course, train tracks. Then place down the train track that will, of course, function as a station track. And after that, you can link uh, to this one the normal train tracks. This way, of course, uh, the, uh, the trains can uh, reach your station. Now if you pay closer attention you see that we have two nodes that are very visible and that is because uh, the trains can change the tracks this way they can reach the correct platform which means that right in the middle is our station track. Of course if necessary you can uh, use the move it mod and you can uh, just move a bit these nodes. This way if you have longer trains that have to stop in your station they will, let's say, uh, be as long as the length of that segment. Here is the reason why this station track is working as a normal train station itself. And that is because, watch these people, they look like they are flying, but actually they are sitting, let's say, on an invisible platform. Hence, now we can add our own platform. So we choose any platform you, you want from the workshop and plop it down. This way um, you can, you know, let's say use the procedural object mod, which I really, really uh, encourage you to do. And this way you can move that platform to be exactly at the correct height. So people will not, you know, look like they are flying or whatever. Now you just have to make that platform as long as you want to plop it on the other side as well, of course. Find your own type of building. I found this one which looks pretty cool and actually I'm gonna leave it to work as it is. This way it will also attract people there. It will make it look like, you know, people are entering that train station. And then on one of the sides you can of course add a ramp or you can add stairs or whatever. Uh, and then on an invisible pathway has to be added. Of course you have to add a normal type of pathway uh, to make, let's say, people look like they are taking that ramp or stairs depending on what you chose and after you added that normal let's say pathway you can of course upgrade it to an invisible type of pathway so you can't see it but of course then because we have two platforms we need to make people go from a platform to the other one easy right so i'm gonna just use an, another type of uh, pathway and turn it into a, like a bridge or elevated platform and then uh, i can uh, you know uh, Take people from that part to the other part. Of course, you can do this with a tunnel too, but it, that one will, you know, request more work or you have to know a little bit more stuff to, to make it look properly. So I'm hoping that this was very helpful for you guys. It is easy. I know you can, of course, use lo 
all those train stations that are on the workshop or the vanilla ones which are really good actually but if you want to have something of your own of course start doing some creations put your imagination at work or even you can try to replicate any stations from real life i'm gonna show you uh, in the next cinematics some of my own train station that i made in my last uh, city skyline series uh, but uh, yeah, check the description too guys and thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and uh, we see you in the next one. Take care and have fun. I salute you.